on. All right, Goldfist, um, you've just been absolutely rolled by the Unrooters there. Thoughts on how can the tail bounce back? Because you're in trouble. Uh, yeah, well, it was evident today that um, you know, there were teams out, two teams out there today that only it was only one team that did actually turn up to fist. Uh, the other one was just um, we were fist taking. Uh, you copped uh, a deep, deep fist today. It was, it was a deep fisting. And, it wasn't uh, there'll gentle. Be, there'll be a bit of grouping. We'll have a bit of a sit around and have a think about, uh, about where we went wrong. What we could have done to improve our fisting today, and uh, you know, and then we'll bounce back from there. You know, the ring-ins. What, what, what were your thoughts on their fisting? A couple of new ring-ins today. Uh, always welcome new new fisters uh, to the sport. Um, it's part of our you know part of our strategic development is to encourage new people to bring their fists along and to, and to join in for the fistacular. But um, uh, but you know there's a price you have to pay for that, and uh, and without throwing any excuses out there, that was probably what cost us the fist today. So but, you, uh, so to paraphrase, you were blaming the Taos performance on the new fisters. You're saying the experienced fisters lived up to their reputation. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I don't want to cast any um, dispersions. I don't want to. I don't want to blame anyone. I don't want to name any names. But yes, I think the new fisters did actually hold us back today. Uh, there was well. We, we saw Swanee send a lot of balls wide and long. The Cowboy did not much. Oh, you can't. I saw you shy away from a direct serve from the cannon, and you're blaming the new fisters. I can't. Uh, I mean, look, uh, Swan, the, the Swanee's fist, um, look, I mean, this, the, fist is, uh, the fist is like a zebra. It can't be tamed. It's, uh, you know, <laughs> a it, zebra. It's <laughs> an analogy. It's, uh, if you want to, you wanna, uh, if he wants to wield the fist, you know, then that, the fist, you, you don't control the fist, fist controls you. It's, uh, that's when you know you're at one with the game, when, uh, when you're no longer, no longer in command of your own fist. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and, um, so yeah, I can't, I can't criticise that. Can't, right. And uh, yeah. just finally, there was, well there was a disturbing amount of open palm slappage and not a lot of repercussions from yourself or your teammates. Yeah, well, Please explain. We did let a bit of, uh, we did, you know, again with a couple of new fisters, we did, um, we did, let, did let a few, uh, 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 slappy hands, um, uh, lady fingers go uh, go unchecked. Surely, um, in the spirit of fistball, you should be stamping that out ASAP. Yep. Okay. Yep. Fair enough. And uh, yep, we'll the judiciary will have a look at that in the replay. And um, you know, if any uh, if there need to be any subsequent um, uh, repercussions in next week's fist, then uh, then so be it. But we'll let the judiciary decide. Do you think if you continue to let such slappery um, continue? that your position as head of FIS for Federation of Australia is under threat? Uh, you know, I, I, can't, I can't comment on that. That's, uh, I'll leave that up to the, the, the match committee. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, we have certainly had cops and slack, you know, especially the rotational policy of the tower team has uh, been under a bit of pressure. Um, but, um, you know, but I, again, I, I can't comment on that. I'll leave that up to the, to the, to the, to the, to the selectors and the, and the match committee. God, FIS, as ever, we appreciate your time. FIS on. Thanks,